Yesterday, this place was closed. Well, today, it's open. This is Mawako Fast Food at East Legon, close to the ANC Mall. For about two months, the Food and Drugs Authority shut this place down over complaints from some clients or customers that they had experienced food poisoning. After shutting this place down, the FDA says it is satisfied with the corrective prevention actions taken by uh, Mawako Fast Food. And so, effectively today, it has been open. This morning, there are about eight persons who are sitting in there who are waiting for their orders. Let's now speak to some um, people to find out from them what their impressions are, whether they will be coming back to buy. Oh, actually, I thought my head of it, I was, like, I was shocked that how come a restaurant so big like this they will have this kind of problem. But I was like, I, actually, I didn't get that infection. So I was thinking about the people who buy all the time and they had the infection. How are they going to feel and all that stuff. Since they shut down, FDA says that they have adhered to their corrective prevention um, measures. They've taken some actions in that way, so they should open today. Does that give you confidence or you're ambivalent? Oh, after the shutdown, we were thinking that I and my friends were like, are there people going to come back again or not? But we said, okay, if they come back, we'll try and see if everything is on point. I'm so happy for Mawako, they are back. We will always come and eat again. So you're back to eating here? Yes, please. Wait. You don't have any concerns? No, I never You don't have food poisoning? No, I don't have food poisoning, nothing. I like their food and their chicken. Okay. It's very nice. They are food what makes you so confident that um, what happened will not repeat itself? What makes you confident that maybe for me, they should talk to their workers to clean their place very well. But every two weeks on some three days or, yeah, every two weeks, they used to do cleaning. So the place is very neat. But for now, they should tell their workers to clean everywhere neatly. For those who do delivery services uh, for Mawako, its closure in the last two months has affected them. One of them is here with me. Your name is Abraham Beidou? Yes, please. I'm Good. Abraham Beidou. Good. So how did the closure affect you, bro? Oh, bro, because uh, we, there is no place to work. Because now uh, some of the restaurants, for them to trust you, even for them to give you a delivery or a food to go and deliver, it's hard. And so closing Mawako was like, we have nowhere to go. So we pack our bikes at the house. Wait, are you on a delivery app or you just do freelance? Yeah, I do a delivery at Mawako. Okay. Yeah. So you work strictly with Mawako? Yes, please. I work strictly with Mawako. Okay. I've been picking like 10 to 15 orders here. And so uh, as it was shut down, it's been really difficult. Like source of income was not coming. So as Mawako is back, I've been, uh, I have been really, really happy. And I know that everything will return back to its normal basis. But is this the only place where you take orders and do delivery? No, 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 no. So how come this affected you so much? Because most of the orders have been coming from Mawako. So I think as they, uh, they've been back, everything will be okay. So normally, like, each day that I've been coming to work, I've been getting like uh, 200 to uh, one, uh, 150 daily. So as Mawako uh, was shut down, I, I was not getting that amount of money. The Abelengbe branch of Mawako is also in full swing as we saw at East Legon. We went in there and there are um, staff who are turning to some um, customers who are waiting to be served. Earlier, the authorities of Mawako told us they are happy to be back and they were sure that they uh, stand by all the go by all the regulations uh, stipulated by the Food and Drugs Authority. So the news is that Mawako is back in full swing, and um, that is uh, the excitement for both staff and some of the clients. For City News, I am Caleb Kudev.